Nityanam guys, welcoming you all with my love and respects and the blessings of my Guru, His Divine Holiness, Bhagwan Sri Nityananda Paramashivam. Uh, before I jump into today's video, I just wanted to share that I started uploading uh, many videos, uploading many videos a day. So make sure that you check them out. The latest video uploaded might not be the last one you've seen. Yesterday I uploaded five videos and like that um, I'm going to continue. Swamji so said, uh, educate, share, um, enrich, share your clicks and powerful cognitions. And, um, and it's very important in order to sharing, I, what I'm realizing more and more as I'm doing these videos is that when you share your clicks and your cognitions, you allow yourself to go deeper. You gain depth, depth of cognition until we get firmly established into the space of Paramashivoham, the space of Aham Brahmasmi. So I'll share that, uh, I'll make a video about it actually, uh, maybe um, today, about uh, why it is the important to go in depth and not just to try different avenues. Uh, that might be the next video, who knows. Um, so in this video, I wanted to share what Swamji talked about in yesterday's satsang, which I thought was amazing. It is exactly the kind of content, knowledge, uh, we need to chew on, to dismantle the mind and to understand the essence of Hinduism. And he shared mukti-based bhakti, bhakti-based mukti, shanti-based shakti, Shakti-based Shanti. Um, that's amazing. So for those who don't know, um, Mukti refers to liberation. Bhakti refers to devotion. Shanti refers to peace. Shakti refers to powers or power. So Swamiji was sharing something some time back which really brought light to me and my understanding of Advaita. Vedantis, people who share about the knowledge and think and, and cherish the powerful cognitions of, for instance, Paramashivoham, I am the ultimate, they feel that bhaktis are deluded because in their devotion they consider something outside of them and that is, that is not ultimate and because of that they are less and we are better and like that Vedantis have this kind of ego boost um, about, you know, being the ultimate. And in the same way, bhaktis are like, no, no, these Vedantis, these people, they don't know how to enjoy life, they don't know how to relate and to experience God um, in the physicality and in have this sweetness and this devotion and bliss and all that. They're just, they're just dry Vedantis and they are labeled as just dry knowledge seekers, kind of. That's a rough summary, at least that's how I understood it. And Swamiji was saying both are wrong, actually. It is not complete. There is incompletion in both. Both happen simultaneously. And that is what's something that I can relate to when Swamiji is talking about Kala, saying that everything is happening simultaneously. We feel that devotion, uh, we feel that devotion, when you see God outside and you surrender to God and experience devotion to God, or to Paramashiva, I should say, um, is one thing and then being Paramashiva, cognizing I am Paramashiva is another thing and we feel it is separate, but it is not. And even in the Ishavashi Upanishad, in the, one of the uh, last verses of the Upanishad, the powerful cognition of Sohamasmi is introduced to us, which is, even when I worship you, I know that I am you. And that is basically oneness. So here yesterday Swamiji brings amazing content. Mukti for the sake of bhakti means liberation, cherishing liberation. That's how I understood it, right? Liberation, cherishing liberation for the sake of deepening our devotion. Bhakti based mukti, cherishing devotion for the sake of liberation. So they both happen, even though they seem opposite when we operate from the normal human logic. In reality, they are not. They happen simultaneously. And that is the ultimate space. And the same goes with Shanti and Shakti. Shanti-based Shakti means the power which is based on peace, not a power which is used to do anything harmful, but to generate peace. And Shakti-based Shanti means 
a peace which is powerful. So, a power for the sake of peace and a peace which is powerful. Liberation for the sake of devotion and a devotion and a... Wait. Mukti-based bhakti means liberation for the sake of experiencing devotion and bhakti-based mukti, which is devotion for the sake of experiencing liberation. So they both happen simultaneously. And, and that is what basically, when you start seeking about that, when you start looking into that, digesting that, cognizing that, doing manana, internalizing that, your mind shatters because our mind was not taught because the logics from which we created our mind is only one thing. It goes one way. It cannot, be, it cannot go the other way. But in reality, both happen simultaneously. I have, I'm having a click, a kind of visual thing right now as I'm speaking is when you're driving a car, if you're associated to the driver, you can only go on one side, one side of the highway at a time, right? You go north or you go south, you go east or you go west. If you associate yourself as life, if you see the whole highway as a big hole, both are happening simultaneously. West is going, north is going. So it's all about what do you cognize as you? Are you cognizing yourself as a driver and therefore stuck in the duality of I can only go one way at a time? Or do you cognize yourself bigger than life and seeing the whole thing as a whole and just see that both happening simultaneously? And what, I, what I'm realizing is that the more we chew on this Paramashivoham powerful cognition, this Mahavakya of Om Nityanda Paramashivoham, we realize that we are, we are strongly associated to this body, to the driver. But we have to realize that actually it is not true. The only reality is consciousness. And consciousness oversees everything. It is within everything. It saturates everything. And it oversees and englobes everything. And that's, that's, that's the kind of click I had yesterday. I thought it was very powerful. This is, this is the kind of very powerful cognitions, very sh short powerful cognitions, which give so much food for seeking. You know, it's not about having powers for the sake of demonstrating powers and declaring supremacy. That is not Shanti-based Shakti. Shakti, power, manifesting powers for the sake of creating peace. Being in peace, in the Paramashiva songs you sing, is Paramashanta Swarupa, is the embodiment of the ultimate peace, ultimate serenity. That peace, from that peace, manifesting powers. So it's, it's amazing. It's amazing. And it dismantles a lot of avidya, a lot of incomplete understanding, incomplete knowledge that people have when they talk about principles of Hindu principles, but they have not fully cognized. And that is one of the main reasons why you need an enlightened being or an avatar if you're even luckier. Uh, because... Um, because they have to share these powerful cognitions which were shared with humanity from the space of enlightenment itself. It has to be shared from the space of enlightenment. Somebody who is not in that space will not be able to cognize it in the way that it is meant to be cognized. And that is why we need the guide um, of an enlightened master or an avatar. And that is why Guru is so important. So that's my click for this video. Um, I'm thanking you all for watching these videos, supporting the channel, sharing about Hindu principles, Hinduism, the importance of the Guru-Disciple relationship, the importance of relating to God as god -el, not God, and I'll make a video about that, Swamji has made many discourses about that as well. And subscribe, like, leave a comment. Sometimes in the comments I don't respond big responses, uh, I'm kind of managing that. Um, but I do take comments in consideration and I do make videos. I think making videos about it sometimes is better than just making a comment because in a comment I kind of only answer that person or whomever is reading the comments and not everybody goes through the comments, which is not the best thing to do, inviting everybody to go through the comments. Uh, but uh, I feel making a video about it is also a, is a, better, is a better way of doing it. And uh, yeah, so that's why nowadays, you know, sometimes I answer short responses, but I do read the comments and I appreciate all the comments. 
So with this, I'll see you guys in the next video. Yeah.